All right, you guys, it is time for another super terrific, awesome, exciting episode of Trail Camera Pickup. I am calling this one a long time in the making Trail Camera Pickup. Today is Saturday, October the 10th, and I put this camera out on June the 6th, so it's been out for more than four months. I put this camera on this tree here that you can see was affected by the fire that we had in here back in April. And when I put it out, all this area here was down to the dirt and pine needles. But with the rains that came in July and August, as you can see, we're now standing in ankle deep water. So I came in here a bunch of times and I checked the camera in June and July and I was getting just enough activity to leave it here. And I was pretty much committed to leaving it here to make a video at that point. But then as this water rose up and this tall grass started growing in front of the camera, I was getting a lot of birds and different waterfowl feeding in here. So that was kind of cool. So the last time I checked this camera was August the 9th. So it's been out for two months. So I know I got some good stuff leading up to it, but I'm not gonna open it up just yet. I'm gonna put in some B-roll that I shot throughout the summer. I just didn't have enough action on the trail camera to put together a video. So I'm gonna show you a few clips of some of the things that happened in here in June, in July, and August, and then we'll come back and we'll get this thing off the tree. Whoa. Oh, cool. There's a deer track, and there's a turkey track. Right here is a big old bear track. Oh man, that's a big one. Turkeys and deers and bears. All right, let's see if we got them on the camera. Sweet. Oh yeah. There's something pretty interesting right here. You see this little cypress tree here, all scraped up. That's a rub. The bucks have velvet on their antlers now. I've seen it on a couple of my trail cameras. So they're coming down this trail right here. And this is a tree they use to rub their antlers to try to get the velvet off. That's pretty interesting. When I was coming in here, back before we got to the water, I could see some big deer tracks. So I know there's a couple decent sized bucks in here. Landing. to the home point in 10 seconds. <laughs> Barely made it.
Oh, look at all this gator poop. Dang, man. Oh, it stinks up in here. That's gator poop. Ooh. Ooh, here's a fresh one. Ugh. Ooh, it's still soft and slimy. Gross. Ooh. Oh, it stinks up here. Nasty. <laughs> It's pretty interesting to see how these pine trees are made. It's super charred, but this bark just flakes right off and underneath is perfectly fine. So I'm sure most of this black stuff will just come right off, but underneath, no problem. And the tree up top looks green like nothing ever happened. So that's pretty cool. Well, we got 0.42 miles to get to this camera. We didn't get very far. I had to make another little pit stop right here. Oh yeah. Some of you might remember this plant from a video that I did back in the spring when this just had a little flower spike on it. And as you can see now, I'm out here in February, and it's got a new flower spike coming out right there. So that's going to get about that long, and it hopefully is going to have a flower on it this summer. Well, here she is today. It's got a perfect flower. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. All right, well, let's go get this camera. Oh man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of B-roll. Just some of the miscellaneous things that goes on out here when I'm doing this trail camera thing. So let's open this thing up, see if it's still working. Cross your fingers. Oh yeah, sweet. Oh, the sun. All right, looks like 49 videos. 49 videos and I got 76% remaining battery life. So since August the 9th, that's pretty good. All right, well, let's turn this thing off. Let's take that SD card home, put them on the computer and see what we get. All right, today is June the 6th. This looks like a pretty good spot. It's been about two months since the fire. Things are getting back to normal. I'm going to leave my apple core right here. We're going to see who comes and picks it up. So I'll be back and pick you up in a couple months. Good luck. Alright, so far so good. That was only one week, but we had seven or eight videos, and I think half of them were bears. And daytime bears, too. So I'm getting out of here. I'm going to leave my apple core here, see who comes and gets it. There's four swallowtail kites right here. I'm going to go play with those guys. Good luck. Oh, you hear? Oh, yeah. They're flying right over my head. Looks like there's three adults and one juvenile.
beautiful here. Sweet. All right, back to the show. Two week checkup. Get anything good? What time is it? It's 5:21. I've been out here since 7:30 this morning. I'm getting too old for this. All right. Let's see what we get. your four week checkup. Did you get anything good? I hope so. It's getting ready to rain. But I brought you some new batteries and a new SD card.
Alright, so far so good. I'm not coming down here next weekend. I hope you'll be alright without me. I'll be thinking about you. Good luck. All right, well, there's a lot of water here, but I'm committed. I'm just gonna leave the camera here. Hopefully by the end of August, September, maybe this water will go down, but I'm sure then all this tall grass is gonna be coming up in front of the camera. So I'll be back and check on you in a month or two. Good luck.
Let's up a lot of water. Well, it took four months, but I'd say that was a pretty good episode. It was interesting to see how the landscape changed over time. We're back in June after the fire. This was all barren, and then the water rose up, and we got all this tall grass growing in here. But it was neat to see how we had some little mammals, some possum and rabbits and the bears, and then when all the water got here, we had those little blue herons and ibis and other birds in here feeding. And then to get that fat mama bear with those two little babies was pretty cool. So this is a pretty good spot, but I am going to take this camera. I'm going to go try to find me another spot, either here or maybe back up into Palm Beach County, closer to my house. But thanks for watching, you guys. Cool.